Hi YouTube, it's Jess. It's Sunday, January 6th, 2013. My weight's the same. I'm 183.6 today, um, which is good. I haven't really been trying to lose weight the past couple of days. I've been... Samantha, your Moby Go is still on. You need to turn it off. Sorry. Um, I've just trying to been like eating whatever I want and ma trying to maintain, and I have been, so it's good. Um, but I'm going to get back on track with losing. I just, I hurt my mouth a couple of days ago, like five days ago already. I burnt it, and then I burned it more with a different food I ate later in the day, and then I, like, cut it with a tortilla chip. Like, my mouth hurts really bad on my palate. So, um... Eating hasn't been very fun for me, and so I haven't been eating much, and I haven't been eating well, um, because the soft foods that I want to eat that won't hurt my mouth are like, you know, bread, which is not good for you, and, um, I don't know, just like, I don't know, it hurts. So anyway, um, same weight. Um, someone posted on my other video, um, my last video, that they're doing the injections and they're having sugar cravings and that that's their biggest obstacle. So things that helped me when I wanted something sugary um, was to do mints. I really like the Ice Breakers Frost Mints. They start out kind of grainy and they get smooth and they're kind of soft but they're really firm. It was just a really good mint for me to sit there and pop. And um, they're sugar free so it was great. And the other thing um, is chewing gum. I really like the Spry brand cinnamon gum. It's sugar-free and it's got um, xylitol, I think, in it. That's how you say it. Um, but it's good for your teeth. It's supposed to help your dental health. So that's always good. Um, and then Walden Farms makes a whole slew of sugar-free, calorie-free stuff. So um, they were a big help when I was doing the HCD, and even now I continue to use the stuff just because why should I have calories when I cannot have calories and still have flavor? So um, their dressings are all really good. My favorite dressing they do is the toss-up. I really like their balsamic if I want something Greek. Their Italian is really good. Their zesty Italian is really good. Their Caesar is actually surprisingly good, except for I don't do the Caesar when I'm on the HCG just because even though it's dairy free, it has cheese stuff in it ish. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just leery of the creamier dressings when I'm on the HCG. The sesame ginger is amazing, and the Asian is really good. And you can use them as marinades, as stir fry sauces, as dressings. They're all really good. Um, and my shift nurse, um, who helps me with Caitlin, she likes the bacon ranch. I'm not a big ranch eater and I'm not big on that, but she thought it was really good. So those are all choices you can have. They also make sugar-free, calorie-free barbecue sauce. So if you want to have some barbecue chicken, I mean, boil your chicken breast, shred it up, put some barbecue sauce on it and eat it. It's, it's actually really good. Um, I've had their original and their thick and spicy and their thick and spicy is good. It's not very spicy and the original is pretty good too. Um, and, I mean, there's, it's not real barbecue sauce, but it's good, you know, like, it'll get you there. And, um, they also make sugar-free, calorie-free chocolate sauce, and, um, marshmallow dip, chocolate dip, caramel dip. So if you wanted to, like, take your apple, dip it in some caramel dip that's sugar-free, that might get you through, um, those cravings. I haven't tried the dips. I bought the marshmallow dip, but I haven't used it yet because um, I'm trying to not bake right now because every time I bake, I wind up eating it, and it's just not good. I'll freeze stuff I bake, and then I wind up pulling it out of the freezer. It's just not pretty. So um, trying to not make things that aren't super healthy anyway. Um, and the other thing you can do is, if you're on an HCG, make um, Cocoa Delight. <coughs> I'll post the recipe link to the one I make, um, 
the one I made with the coconut was really good. The one I made with the nuts, not so much. Um, definitely do the coconut with the nuts, but don't do it without the coconut because you really need that coconut in there. Otherwise, it's just it was really bitter, and even when I put more stevia in, it didn't fix it. So um, it's really good though. It's a nice option for like a chocolate candy, and it's kind of like a free food when you're on the HCG. I mean, I'm not going to say sit down and eat the whole batch in one sitting, but have like one or two little things. Um, I use like a mini muffin tin pan, and I'll make them as if the Reese's peanut butter cups kind of like fill the little things. So I'll have, you know, like one tablespoon worth in each muffin tin. It's, it works out really well. So um, that's pretty much the tips I have for you if you're having sugar cravings and you're trying to lose weight. Eat healthy. Try to find alternatives. I use a lot of granulated Splenda in my baking, and um, that's a nice way to substitute sugar but still get the sweetness. You can use stevia. I cannot find a stevia that doesn't have that alcoholy flavor. I don't know. Um, but I do like the truly stevia in the powder form. But I don't use that for baking or cooking just because it's hard for me to convert it in my head. It's like an eighth of a teaspoon is equal to one teaspoon. So for me, like, I just can't do that kind of math. Oh, but I did want to share with the granulated Splenda, <coughs> I found you can make hard candy with it, um, which is really cool. It's just, you know, Splenda and sugar. You heat it up, and then you make, like, hard candy. You can mix in nuts, like almonds. Chop up some almonds. Make an almond bark, like an almond toffee. So you heat the Splenda, put the almond in, then put it in a cookie pan. Let it harden. Melt some chocolate that's sugar-free, like Hershey's makes sugar-free chocolate chips. And then spread that over the top, and you can have a little splurge there. Or... Take your Cocoa Delight mixture and pour it over the top and let that harden. And, um, you know, that would be a good alternative, too. So, I mean, there are choices out there like that that you can do that are sugar-free that will help get you through that sugar craving. Um, I hope everyone out there is doing really good. Keep up the good work. I'm going to get my butt into gear tomorrow. I'm gonna, I mean, today I'm not doing bad. I had an orange for breakfast. I just don't want to really eat too much because my mouth hurts. But I'm going to try to do good tomorrow. I'm going to work out tomorrow. I'm going to eat tomorrow well. Eat well. Um, yeah, and I'm going to eat well today, too. But you know what I mean. Anyway, we can do it. Let's do this. Um, keep up the good work, everybody. And have a great rest of your day. Bye.